Every heartbeat is a word, a word that I choose to use between many, a word is my world that I choose from one heartbeat to another. The process of life happens as we are breathing, and every heartbeat is a word, a word that we choose to use from among many. Each word is part of a sentence, and each sentence forms a paragraph, a book, a universe, and a lifetime. Each second asks us to choose which word to use. Life is a series of simple choices made each second and with each heartbeat that passes. We are directed to follow the direction of our hearts, and the words that come from our mouths are directly coming from our hearts, therefore, we need to choose properly which word we are going to allow from our mouths. We even need to go deeper and reach the place in our hearts where the breath the spirit forms words for us to be able to form only good and inspirational words for people around us. Jesus said, for out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks, Matthew chapter 12 verse 35. The words, as wind, as a breath, are already parked inside our hearts. Before those words come out of our mouths, we can get to the bottom of our hearts and make some operation to clean up and remove the weeds and only keep good and well-seasoned plants and flowers that give sweet perfume all around us. This is a regular process, it happens all the time and continues on and on. Just as our hearts keep on beating, and just as we keep on breathing, we have to keep on staying in the right frame of heart. The Bible tells us a story of the enemy who went into the master field and planted weeds when people were sleeping Matthew chapter 13 verse 24. This example teaches us to stay awake even when we are deeply sleeping. It is a strange situation, but we need to be watching over our hearts, and that also is a commandment. For the bad seed, when planted in our hearts, can disorient our lives in a way we could not imagine. For the operation is done from the deepest part of our hearts, even from the zone of our hearts that we ourselves aren't able to reach, and it will require lots of operations to be able to remove all those weeds. In the parable, the situation was so bad that when the servant wanted to go and remove the weeds, the master responded and said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and at harvest time I will tell the reapers, gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn, Matthew chapter 13 verses 29 to 30. The situation was that both had to grow together, but as we have our hearts, we need to look in carefully, with the grace of God, guard them, for our lives come exactly from our hearts. Real life is spiritual, the spirit wind is the breath that turns into our hearts and causes us to live, and it is with the same breath that we are able to speak. Now, as we stand to speak, we are allowing the very deep things within ourselves to come out. Our lives are the same quantity of the words we have been saying, for our words form our world. Therefore, it is imperative to be very objective about the words we choose to use, and to be able to do so, we need to be able to check the source, and the source is very deep in our hearts. We need an operation deep in our hearts so that we might be able to have our deep places filled with the good stuff, and then when we open our mouths, the good stuff will come out. This process is not automatic, people have to make well-calculated efforts to remove the bad stuff that pollutes life. The choice has already been given to people to make the effort and thus be able to have good words coming from their mouths. It is not an easy process, but it is a must. For the people who want to operate in the same way as Christ our Lord, it is a must to work on their mouths and be as ready as possible to have seasoned words every time that they open their mouths. It requires going through personal development, repentance, and a change of heart. It might seem to be a hard process, but the good news is that God has proposed to believers a new heart, God wants us to allow him to take the stony heart out and put in a new one. God, Time and Choices. This is taken from the book, God, Time and Choices. Get the book on Amazon now. Link in the description. Like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more video like this.